Hit him with the boom. By booming? Yeah, do it. Fuck it. Boom! What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com, alongside Sean Torbati, High Performance Nutrition. We're here in the new warehouse. Just showed Mark around. What do you think? This is a beautiful place, man. As you know from seeing my gym, I'm all about graffiti. It represents where I grew up, which is just about 50 minutes away from here without traffic, about 12 hours with traffic, down in Inglewood, California. That's where you saw me. So obviously, I love tagging. Yeah, this is actually drying right now. The guy just finished it up, looks amazing. Does. Sets this whole room off. But that's not really what we're talking about. It's a prime time. What we're gonna talk about is this big ongoing scandal right now with Prime Nutra, uh, one of the subsidiary companies of Blackstone uh, wrapped up in the whole thing. And specifically as it relates to the main figurehead of the company, and as it turns out, yes, just a figurehead, uh, John Meadows uh, and his post. So what exactly happened? Well, from what I gather, and, and I know a lot, I'm gonna actually hold back a little because I know some of the intricacies. Yeah. Um, manufacturing and all that is essentially, um, John put his name behind a product, which was their Intra-MD, I yeah. believe it was called. And we're disclaiming that we both have nothing but respect for, for John I Meadows. love John. We think he's one of the top gurus for diet and training in the entire industry. And that fool comes in shredded. You yeah. gotta give him props. He does it himself and he helps other people do it too with his mountain dog training and yeah. all of his articles. Extremely knowledgeable guy. So basically, he um, he was getting some suspicions of the product, from what I gather. Yeah. He tested it. It came out with no teacrine. Now, as someone who is going to be putting teacrine in some future products, and I believe you've looked into teacrine as well. Teacrine is very expensive and Super tastes expensive. horrible. Right. And this is coming from someone who has eaten ass before. Yeah. Teacrine tastes terrible. It's worse than that. It is. It and is. So there's two two incentives right yeah. there for a company to short dose it. It tastes really bad, so it makes your powdered products taste. Four. And it's very expensive. And he tested for another ingredient, the Hydromax, which Hydromax. is another expensive yeah. patented ingredient, yep. which came out at half the 44% of the dose. Yeah. And I get and he and even John stated in his post that he get he he's pretty sure that everything else will come out underdosed as well. Right, because that's the thing we talk about when it comes to protein too. If a company amino spikes, how in the hell are you gonna use anything they yeah. make ever again? You can't trust any of their formulations because You'd be silly to think that they're gonna shortchange you on your protein knowingly and then on every other product be legit. That's the craziest thing I've ever yeah. heard. And, and the thing is, uh, to state, there are more organizations like NSF. NSF isn't the only one, but Duracap is an FDA compliant facility, which means that their claim being FDA compliant means that if the FDA came in, they'd pass the test. Right. That's what FDA, it's basically, I can say that my bathtub enough is FDA compliant. Nobody stamps that approval. Now what NSF or other organizations like them, I can't remember the names, NSF isn't the only one. We use only NSF But it's the gold, st but look, it's the it gold is. standard. It's the one worth knowing. It's like saying there's other leagues that you can play football in, but there's the NFL. But yeah, basically NS NSF puts a stamp on it saying, look, if the FDA came here, you're above and beyond their regulations. Yeah. Um, Duracap Labs, which is the ones who also we did a video on, they went to jail for making SARMs and other illegal goods. Right. They were the ones making this product, which brings us to a whole nother thing. You know, if you're not NSF, if you're not getting those extra things done to verify your products have what's in there, can you trust them? And Sean, you were telling another thing about just knowing manufacturing. Right, so you have a guy like John who is an expert in diet and training. Great one at that. Knowing what it takes on the diet end, on the training end, and on the supplementation end, ingredient wise. He has put his name behind formulas that he thinks are efficacious and effective and well dosed. But the problem is, he's not the one making the products. He never was and never will be. And neither are any of these athletes of, of the companies they represent. They think they're promoting a good product, but really they have not a frigging clue. They're not involved in the ordering of the products, they're not involved in the manufacturing, and they're certainly not involved in the testing unless they take it into their own hands like John did. And as he found out, it's very expensive, thousands of dollars, so they're not doing it. And John, that shows a lot about him to actually it test does. his own yeah. product. And, and to of, put it public. None too. of these other guys from that con don't think it's called rips or something. Yeah. You think they test yeah. any of their product? They don't know, they don't tears. care. Tears, yeah, tears. Tears. <laughs> so yeah. so here's, here's something to look at is, they, they had that going on. Now you gotta look at who formulated it and who was in charge of this, and that was PJ from Blackstone. Because he was basically private labeling the line, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Yeah. Well, and so he, he, you know, they've come out and said that this, that, and the other, but again, this is not to defame anyone, but more to say this concept of people that you uh, trust to take advice from on products, they have nothing to do with making the products. Whereas you have people like 
uh, Mark, uh, like myself, like Doug Miller, like Mike Rashid, we're directly involved in making our products. We are the manufacturer. We're not an athlete or a representative of a company. We are the ones who place the orders, who do the testing, who make sure that these things all go according to plan in the manufacturing process. And we've been doing it for a lot of years too. You know, I've been in this industry for what, 16, 17 years now? Yeah. And you've been in, in this industry, so you were like two. We started HPN in 2010, and I was involved uh, in the industry way before that on the retail level. So we know what we're doing, and it's a completely separate issue knowing what works ingredient-wise and how to make it into an amazing product, a world-class quality product. It's a completely different ball game. Yeah. And we can mention other, <clears throat> other scenarios going on. Like, for example, I just read that affidavit from, from Jim. Jim's a phenomenal, fantastically smart, and intelligent guy. Yeah. Brought a formula to to that other website, yeah. it didn't work, so they had to completely redo it because they saw as a big company, like this ain't gonna work. Yeah. So just because someone has a, a degree in exercise physiology doesn't make them an expert, and just because someone has a great body doesn't mean they know anything about the product they're representing. Usually it can, cannot even mean the opposite, but yes. uh, anyway, what we're saying is you gotta buy products from people you trust, and moreover, people you trust who you know are actually involved in making the products, because it's one thing for someone to be a die hard waving the flag for a product, but if you know from that person's own uh, words or from asking questions that they have nothing to do with actually making the products, their trust and faith in that product can be completely misguided. So you need to pay attention to that. We're coming to you as CEOs who actually manufacture <coughs> products and saying that when you use uh, an HPN product, an MTS product, a core product, an Ambrosia product, uh, you're getting exactly what you were supposed to get and nothing, nothing less and nothing that's unexpected. You know, that's what quality manufacturing is all about. And nothing goes, also goes into living life. How many times have we seen people who own companies not even use their own products? Yeah. That's another thing. You gotta find some people who actually use their own stuff. Yeah. I think that speaks volumes. It does. So that closes it out, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Until next time, peace. That's not a game.